Hello everyone, OSU Harding here again with another video demonstration on how I've modified my LEGO Technic logging truck, set number 9397, to include remote control steering, power to both rear axles, and the addition of dual rear wheels. Now the only change I made to the existing power functions is the addition of a switch so that the crane and outrigger M motor can be off even when the battery box is powered on. This allows the truck to be driven without the crane M motor running which is a more realistic application. If you're interested, I also have a stop motion video of the initial construction of this model, so check that out. Please subscribe and check out all my other LEGO builds and power function modifications too. So here's the truck. A few features I'd like to point out is the addition of the dual rear wheels. You can see those there. And here's the switch that I added that allows me to power off the existing M motor, the existing power functions M motor and it allows that motor to be off even though the battery box is on and I don't have to worry about that uh, draining my battery down. Now the uh, the additions that I've made, I've got the one XL motor here that drives both rear wheels and it's mounted directly over the first uh, or the forward most axle. Uh, I've also added the M motor here for steering and it is mounted vertically uh, centered and behind the front seats and I had to use a clutch gear on that since I was not able to uh, incorporate return to center steering this time. Uh, I've got the receiver mounted here uh, upside down basically so the uh, the actual receiving unit is, is, in, is in the windshield portion of the truck cab here and uh, as you can see that there it's it's in there and uh, I was, I was able to use the flat side of the IR receiver to remount my lights to give the, uh, the aesthetic look or the same look of the, of the truck even though uh, it's been modified so it's got the same look as it originally did out of the box. And I also added LEDs up here on these two lights here just as a, I had them and I wanted to use them. So, Alright, quick look here before we before we do anything with the uh, the power functions, I did modify uh, the rear axle to match the front axle. So this is actually designed and built exactly as the front axle is, and this is the way it came out of the uh, with the original instructions. So this this axle matches it exactly. Again, you see the dual rear wheels. I do have space in between them there too. Uh, I was able to get the um, the the fender wells there that uh, extended out to to meet those and it really doesn't stick out much further um, as far as the with the dual reel wheels they don't really stick out much further from the side so it really doesn't look bad in any way it's not like they stick out really far from the side of the truck so alright so let's fire this thing up and I'll show you this uh, this uh, rear axle got the uh, remote here so And you can see that both axles turn there, so that was pretty neat to be able to do that and power both uh, both sets of wheels. We got the steering here, and then you see the uh, the lights that are powered up there, and the and the IR receiver there is um, there in the cab, so. All right. Now, one thing I did say in the beginning is that I I didn't do anything to the existing power function. So what I I accomplished that by using the switch here, and basically I've run the existing M motor from the power functions that came with the kit up to this switch that allows me to turn that on and off, and then I can I can still. Use those. Raise all that up and do all that still. So, and using the switch there that basically functions as the old, uh, in the same way that when you have to manipulate the battery box in order to get it changed direction. So, but that's it. Fully remote control. Um, installed an XL motor to drive both rear wheels, rear axles. Uh, M motor for the front steering with a clutch gear, LEDs up on the uh, on the top with an IR receiver in the cab, and uh, that's about it. 
So please rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of this modification, and uh, check out all my other LEGO videos. I've got several more kits that I have to build, so check back often for new videos. Thanks.